Hey guys, it's Boxbro. Welcome back to another video. Today in Fallout 76, I'm going to be showing off the Brotherhood of Steel bundle that just got added with the Steel Rain update, aka Season 5. So I'm, I don't have all the power armors, so I'm going to show just pictures for the power armors, but I'll be able to place the prefabs and some of the other items. So the bundle is in the Atomic Shop currently, and it'll be here until the end of the week. Um, and you, the bundle is pretty much on the first page, but if you go to the second page, you'll see all of the items individually. The bundle incl includes the Steel Rain paint, the Brotherhood Armory, the High Tech Stash, and the Brotherhood Head Wraps. So I'll be able to show off the Armory, the Stash, and the Head Wraps in-game, um, but the Steel Rain paint will have to just use these pictures since I don't have a pair of each of the Power Armors. Um, but this power armor is equipable on all the power armors, so T45, T51, T60, T65, Ultra Sight, Excavator, and X01 power armor. And you can see some from these pictures, like what it looks like. That's the T65 over there. This is X01. I think this is T60 in the middle. Over here, we have uh, T51 and T60. And then right here, um, I think Ultra Sight is mixed in here as well. And then we also have the excavator right there. All right, so let me go ahead and showcase the armory. So the armory is gonna be in the misc structures tab, which is similar to all of the other prefabs in the game. And I'm currently at my camp. There's not much space left to be honest. So let me see if I can go ahead and squeeze it in here just at random. Um, but we'll place it like right here. And just like that, I placed it. It costs that much aluminum, con concrete, and steel. You can see on the right side. And it does require um, energy as well. And it looks like you can only build one of these at your camp. And so this is what the exterior looks like. There's little BOS, um, like, kind of like tower slots, I would almost say. Like, if you wanted, you could put turrets there. Little turret slots on each of the corners. And there's, like, a little bit of a railing. Um, the structure is floating a bit, so it looks like the concrete below it is not that thick. And I accidentally placed it on top of my death claw. <laughs> um, but just for display purposes, uh, I'll go ahead and show you guys what it looks like. It's definitely not as easy to place as the other prefab, which would be the Mega Mansion. I think the Mega Mansion is still a little bit easier to place, but it's not too bad. And there's like this big grand stairs leading up to it. And once you go inside, it has this similar doorway to the other BOS building. And I'm guessing the same BOS door applies to it. And you probably need the same um, power. And here's where the pylon is, it looks like. Yeah, that's where the pylon connects. But let's go ahead and take a look on the inside. So once you go inside, you're presented with a spiral staircase that goes into the interior. And then you have the base of it right here. And that's pretty much the prefab. It's a little bit smaller than I thought since the outside does look pretty big, but this inside area is big enough to put a number of things, you know? And if you wanted, since it is called the BOS Armory, you could probably fit a whole armory in here. And um, yeah, but this is what it looks like from the outside. It is quite a big structure and compared to the Flying Fortress, it is much, much bigger looking. So that's what that looks like. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys what the stash looks like. So if I go over here and I go over to stash boxes, we can probably go just go through this, go to stash box, and going through all the tabs right here, we have the BOS stash box. So this one is just a reskin stash box, doesn't have any other function or utility, but it does look pretty cool when you access it. It does have a very cool animation and it kind of unravels and reveals like an axe, ammo, some food, and it kind of stays like that for a little bit and then it will retract. I think that's the coolest thing about the sash box is that when you do open it, it has that little animation. And it looks like depending on how long you were in the stash, it stays open for longer. Um, but yeah, next is the head wraps. Um, let me go ahead and get to my crafting area. All right, so I went to a armor workbench and then to headwear, and then right here we have the Brotherhood of Steel or Brother Camo head wrap. And then we have the Brotherhood head wrap, and yeah, so we can go ahead and try one of these on just to give you like an idea of what it looks like. Here we go. And this is what the head wrap looks like on your character. And yeah, 
that's going to be pretty much it for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, please let me know in the comment section below. I figured this might be a popular bundle, so I thought, and I really like the bundle, so I went ahead and bought it and figured I could go ahead and do a little showcase. Um, but yeah, if you have any questions about the bundle, let me know, and hopefully I can answer that for you as well. But otherwise, until next time.